Now, it's really important that what students learn on the donated bodies, they can actually consolidate with what it would look like on a real living person. So this is what we call surface anatomy in, in uh, anatomy. So these students over here are doing surface anatomy, and that means identifying structures on real living people. Because most of our students, depending on what they're studying, will end up working either with patients or with clients. So they need to be able to take that information they've learned from the donated bodies to real living people. And that's what they do over here. Out of the surface anatomy activities, a lot of it's just looking at each other, touching bumps and things on each other. But the, one of those aspects that's become the most popular is the body painting. So what these kids over here are doing is body painting. That's probably become the most popular of our learning techniques. It's a very engaging technique. The students love doing it. They have a lot of fun doing it. And what you can see is that when they do it, because they're doing it accurately, they're first drawing things in with a whiteboard marker, which gives them the boundaries of where they need to draw. Then they're adding in the detail by painting it. By doing this, they're actually learning their anatomy quite well. So it, it becomes a very engaging and enjoyable and motivating way for them to learn anatomy. Yeah, it's a really good way to learn all the surface anatomy and makes it sort of interesting rather than just out of a textbook. And does it actually help you with your learning of yeah. anatomy? Yeah, it really does. It makes you actually want to learn it so you can paint it on people. Well, I never even heard of it before I started and at first it's a little bit scary to do it but it definitely helped me learn anatomy so much faster. We keep doing the Anatomical Man projects because they keep inspiring students and we have now gotten to a stage where JCU Anatomy Department is actually doing the best anatomical body painting in all of Australia. So I'm very proud of this and this is something that we're hoping we can actually start to publish soon in journal articles and then hopefully I'm hoping down the track we might actually prepare a book on body painting as a learning technique. So these guys are using, as you can see, the buckets of Play-Doh there to learn anatomy. Um, Play-Dohing is, is a really good technique. It's really especially good for the tactile learners, people who learn by touching. Um, and what these guys do is they actually build anatomical structures and it's really good because it's, it's enjoyable, it helps them to learn and it also helps to develop their 3D brain as I call it because they need to, it's one thing to look at a picture in a book but to actually see it in three dimensions, to me the best way is to build it yourself. So we've got Bob over here who's doing muscles of, of facial expression on the skull. Um, we've got guys over here doing a brain and we've got Lisa over here with her beautiful breast. So it's a really good learning tool, a really good way for students to develop that 3D brain. So I think they're, they're doing it well. And what do you get out of doing it? HDs. <laughs> HDs. He does get HDs, which is true. And that's actually something really important, that it's one thing to do all these techniques, but we need results. And we have been lucky in that um, the stats have shown that over the last six years, our stu we've actually had an increase in the pass rate of 80% and a decrease in 30%. So I think the important thing is that we are getting results that students are actually learning more using this technique. So otherwise it wouldn't be of much use at all. So does this help you with developing that kind of 3D image of everything? Yeah, it definitely gives you like an appreciation of how, where muscles start and go and you can rotate it in your hands and then it helps you to rotate in your mind later on when you're studying this stuff from textbooks and lecture materials. So that's our play doing. Um, whiteboarding is a really important technique that we use it's especially good with people who are visual learners. So the visual learners learn a lot from the whiteboarding and they also, a lot of them will like to draw in here. So we've got some, I wish I'd bought some, but we have students who have done the most amazing artwork in here and it works really well for them. The whiteboarding in particular is really important because it's, it's a technique that teaches them how to summarize and how to synthesize the concepts that they're learning. So by putting them on a whiteboard, and, and we don't just tell them to write things, they actually have to simplify the, the, whatever they're learning. So by putting it on a whiteboard, what they end up doing is they end up putting something very simple on a board, which then sends visual cues to the brain and helps them with long-term memory, which is what we're after, because anatomy is a subject that traditionally is taught and that students traditionally learn with surface uh, learning rather than deep learning. So what they tend to do is memorise things, but we're trying to teach them that, no, there's better ways to do this. If you engage and you do the proper activities, you can actually retain this information. So whiteboarding, to me, is one of those most important um, techniques. So what, what do you think you get out of whiteboarding? It helps me to summarise the main points and to figure out what's really important because sometimes you can come away from a lecture and think, oh my god, I have so much to learn. But when you just take it into context, put it down on paper, it's so much easier to learn. I find that it's good to mind map as well. So having flowcharts, um, also tutoring in here as well, I think it's a good idea for students to 
go and mind map and get an idea of where to start before they look at the pro sections and the cadavers. So I'm always a big fan of whiteboarding and I've actually bought one myself and have used it along the way through my degree. So. That's awesome. And what the way we actually run this practical class, you can see these metal tables, is the students will be looking at our donated bodies on a the table. They'll have a whiteboard at the end of the table. So the idea is that they're whiteboarding before they actually look at the specimens just to make sure that they know what they're looking at. You know, this is a lab where we have donated bodies and we are always, staff and students, 100% respectful of those bodies, but that doesn't mean that the learning experience can't be fun and that's what it is, so it's a very fun experience. The um, body painting, this is probably the area where we've got the most development occurring at the moment and where most of our medical um, education research is going. So Declan, who's my right-hand man here, Declan's a fifth-year medical student, he's the one who's involved with me helping him, so I might get him to explain to you what it is that we're actually doing at the moment. Well, uh, primarily with body painting, especially with the sports and exercise uh, students in that, knowing the muscles themselves is as far as really they need to go. But when we start dealing with, oh, with the medical students, you've got to know the function of muscles, you've got to know the nerve supply of muscles. So instead of just drawing the muscles on now, we get them to colour code them. So all the muscles that are supplied by one nerve may be coloured blue, and all the muscles that are supplied by another may be green. Um, in, in technical terms, they're called the myotones, the myotones of movement. And so we're actually just extending body painting now into that, so students can go home and they can learn the vascular supply of their muscles during colour coding, because they can sit in an exam then, look at their shoulder and go, oh, I remember these muscles are green, and that's what's supplied by the radial arteries. So that's really where we're taking body painting next.